Pinky Malinky, it's trailer time! Hey everybody, Bensy Johnson Jr. Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year as well. As you may have noticed, I didn't post over the holidays, so the next couple of weeks are going to be a mix of year in reviews and some new content. The holidays were fun though, we got a lot of cool stuff to hopefully build a proper studio setup in here. Clearly it's not up as of right now or else I'd be, you know, using it. Anyway, I'm enthusiastic about television in all shapes and sizes, so if you're interested too, then hit subscribe for new videos every week. And before I forget, thanks for 100 subscribers! We got there on December 30th and it's a great way to kick off 2019 where there will be a boatload of new content coming. Maybe at the end of this year there will be another zero on the end of that number. Now, if I haven't made it clear in previous videos, I am ridiculously excited for Pinky Malinky. It's spent three years in waiting and it, now it's finally ready to be shown off to the world. Yeah, I know, the show came out yesterday and I'll have my review up tomorrow. Subscribe if you want to see that. But I have seen absolutely nothing, not a second of the show. So right now, before I watch the show proper with some friends, I'm going to go watch the trailer. Hi guys, I'm Pinky Malinky. Babs and JJ are my best friends. We spent a lot of time making videos. We've done dance videos. I got my grandma involved with one of those. We made horror films. We wrote those sick dolphins. We got studying dance. We got studying dance. God, that was a beautiful night. Slight exposition, really catchy theme song, the voices are so well picked. It looks like a fucking ride, and I have been here for it since 2015. That is a long time to wait in line, but clearly I was not wrong in doing so. Even with the delay, the show is very much a product of right now. Internet video has matured since the days of its novelty, as exemplified by fellow Nick series iCarly, and it takes quite a bit of push to get going, as I would know. But clearly, they're having fun doing it, and that makes me want to watch them have fun doing it. The perfect feeling to segue into a great show. The exaggerated antics of our title character himself feel somewhat reminiscent of the likes of Roy in the Stanley Dynamic, two foreign series from differing sides of the Atlantic about cartoon boys living in the real world. Those two shows would be a story to tell, wouldn't they? Points also to the potential subversion of expectations when it comes to Pinky's voice actor. When you look at him in pictures, you're really expecting him to have a different, perhaps more annoying voice. In my mind, something similar to that Bunsen on Bunsen is a Beast. But when you actually see him in action, he's just got one of those normal main protagonist kind of voices, which probably helps sell the show a bit more to those who might be skeptical. The show really shines in a similar manner to me to that of its mid-decade contemporaries, both at Nick and at Disney XD, as that was where Disney's anime push was at the time. I could easily see the show running alongside the likes of Breadwinners or Sanjay and Craig or early seasons of Henry Danger and you know all the other stuff that they that Nick had on uh, back then. It's energetic, it's fun, and dare I say it's even fresh, though its sell-by date feels like it should have come up earlier. Pinky Malinky sounds like just a fun show, what both America and KidsCon need right now, but arguably not what either of them deserve. This is going to be an awesome show though and a great way to kick off the new year and I suggest you check it out. Stay tuned for my full review of Pinky Malinky Season 1 tomorrow on the channel and while you're here, maybe check out my first video on him coming up in a second. Hit subscribe on your way out and I'll see you next time.